Hello all, in this video we will see how to calculate the efficiency of a linear dropout regulator or a linear regulator. Okay, so um, basically most of the engineers when they do their calculations for a switching regulator they do calculate the efficiency for a linear regulator they just tend to take the um, difference between the input and output voltage and they can get to know how much power dissipation that is there and generally they don't calculate the efficiency but when you do your calculations um, or when you do your design it is important that you perform um, the efficiency calculation for LDO also um, and <clears throat> get to know how much efficient your LDO is okay so uh, the first thing uh, in a linear regulator, we know that the input and output voltage, um, like uh, uh, if it is LDO, the difference is lesser or uh, we design a linear regulator such that the input and output voltage difference as low as possible uh, for a given current, a given load current, such that we have very less power dissipation across the linear regulator. Uh, and ensure that we don't need a heatsink to be used, right? So, uh, let us assume a scenario. Uh, let us take TPS 76201, which we took uh, previously uh, to calculate the power dissipation uh, and the, uh, the junction temperature rise. Uh, so, here, let us assume we have input of 5 volts, okay? Let us assume that we have um, a current of 50 my uh, milliamps okay as the load current okay let us uh, keep it very clear so here we are putting in terms of uh, um, milliamps so we can put 0 0.05 just for uh, um, later usage purpose we have defined in terms of 10 power minus 3 and in a linear regulator understand that the input and output current are the same because there is only a series pass element in between that means the input and output current the output load current and the input voltage are the same and let us assume we have a 3.3 volt regulated output now in this scenario the very important factor which, uh, which also determines the um, efficiency of an LDO is the Q-Cent current. So, the Q-Cent current is nothing but uh, a, a current which is drawn by the internal circuit of the LDO, like uh, whether it be uh, error amplifier, whether it be uh, the <coughs> circuit uh, or uh, whatever is involved in um, generating the reference voltage uh, the circuit which is involved in uh, generating the feedback voltage that means the rest uh, uh, rest to divider network uh, any other uh, circuits like over current protection or over temperature protection all these uh, mm, control circuits that are involved will draw some current so q sent current can be defined in ldo uh, in such a way that a current which is drawn by the LDO when the output low current is absolutely zero. That means the total current, minimal current that will be consumed by the LDO when power is provided to the LDO and no load is connected. That is a Q cent current. So you will have the spec defined in the data sheet. Now let us look at the spec of TPS 7601. So, some, some of the data sheets uh, will directly give it here 23 micrograms of QC and current at 100 milliamps. Okay, uh, you can see um, 20 uh, the QC and current. You can see here uh, it is 26, 23 micrograms, and you can see here this is for a um, load current between 10 micrograms and 100, uh, 100 milliamps at a temperature of 25 degrees centigrade uh, for a given input voltage range of this particular LDO. So, as the temperature increases, you can see as the temperature increases, the LDO uh, um, current, uh, the <coughs> Current has increased to 30 micrograms. For, for us, let us assume 25. And generally, in the data sheets, you will have a graph uh, of this uh, particular uh, Q cent current versus uh, 
the voltage uh, our q sent current versus the lo uh, load current uh, and you can consider based on the load current the q sent current for now let us consider q sent current of 23 microamps for our calculation purposes okay so the q sent current is Twenty three into okay ten to the power of minus six, okay, which is uh, uh, zero point uh, whatever. Okay, so now we know the uh, voltage, we know the uh, current, we know the Q and current. Let us calculate the efficiency. Efficiency is calculated by uh, uh, it is nothing but um, the ratio of output power by input power simply right input power is calculated by um, input voltage uh, sorry output voltage uh, into output okay sorry output power we wanted right output by input is the efficiency so output voltage into output current okay this is the um, output power then we want input power what is the input power input power is calculated by uh, the sum of input current plus q sent current into Input voltage okay then whole into 100 gives the efficiency so this regulator as you can see it is operating at 65 percent efficiency which is very very low right this this is efficiency uh, we can expect with LDOs that is why uh, generally people prefer um, <coughs> LDOs with the uh, switches in their uh, circuits, even though oh, they have image issues and all, um, a, a circuit which is operated on batteries or which is uh, um, critical to power uh, uh, power dissipation generally uses uh, a regulator which has good efficiencies, which is around 95 uh, or beyond that. Right now, considering that 65 efficiency, this regulator can be used only if uh, you don't bother much about the power consumption in your uh, circuit. So, a very, very crucial factor, right? So, if you see the formula again, uh, output power by input power, output power is given by three output voltage into output current divided by input current is nothing but. Uh, input uh, uh, current is the Q sent current uh, and you can you get the power by multiplying it by the input voltage which is 5 volts into 100 okay so uh, that is how we calculate the efficiency of LDO so as we said we directly calculate the power and we don't bother about the efficiency because uh, straightforward we know there is a lot of power dissipation that is there uh, um, in the circuit but if you calculate the efficiency you see that we are using a very um, low efficient um, power regulator in the circuit if you are even even though the load current is just 50 milliamps that's how um, <coughs> inefficient the linear regulators are but considering that you have um, uh, no issues to deal with EMI no issues to deal with noise uh, and uh, special considerations in the PCB layout and all um, for lower currents we do go ahead and use the uh, linear output regulators.